I promise I have an explanation for disappearing off the face of the earth. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ella. Welcome back to another video. So, remember how the last time I posted an update, it was like getting to the last week of HHN. I was tired, I was in pain, uh, all that good stuff that comes with working at a haunted house for two months straight. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, nothing, nothing like happened with that. Nothing, like no hospital visits or anything like that. Like that's not what this is leading up to at all. Um, still very much in pain in a lot of places on my body. Still, uh, recovering from that. But, uh, there was also, I can't remember if I mentioned it in, uh, my last video, but I... If I didn't, I feel like it's without explanation that I was very worried for where my career was going to go next because I didn't know if I was going to be going back to Volcano Bay or what was going to happen after that with the holiday season. Um, but I want to say it was the last two or three weeks of HHN, they had like an internal interview for... Um, some positions that would be with the Universal Holiday Parade that they have for basically two and a half months uh, here at Universal. Uh, and I applied for an interview and I got an interview and I am an entertainment escort for the Holiday Parade at Universal. Uh, which basically means I just get to hang out with characters and performers all day long. I get to make sure they get to and from their sets safely. And then every night for the holiday parade, I get to walk with a float. And that has just been a magical experience. The holidays officially started on November 13th, which was my birthday. Uh, but I didn't have my first shift until the 14th the next day. And I was posted on basically the first group of people that comes out for the parade. So my first shift, my first time ever being in a parade at a theme park, uh, I'm like one of the first people that comes out. So I'm there when they open the gates. And as soon as that gate pulls open, it's just thunderous applause and cheering. And, like, I know I'm just, like, an escort, like, I'm not in the parade, and, like, these people aren't cheering for me, but I just started crying. Um, because for as long as I've wanted to work in theme parks, even back to my days at Disney, I have always wanted to be doing something with entertainment. I've always wanted to be an escort, a uh, performer where, where and when I can, uh, but really escort is, like, the most realistic entertainment job at the moment for me so just getting the opportunity to do this at all but especially for something as big as the holiday parade has just been absolutely magical like that first parade uh i like i just cried the whole time because i could not believe that this is my life right now so uh yeah so i basically went straight from hhn i had like not even a full week off before my first like training session for escorting uh so that's why i've like not been here because i basically just went boom 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 hhn hhn rap party training parade work so it's just it's been it has been a month and like hhn hasn't even been over for a month it's been like two weeks but like it's been a month since like the whole interviewing process and everything started so it was just like HHN overlapping with interviewing, overlapping with actually getting the job. So like, it's just, it's been, it has been a lot. And I apologize profusely for not having any videos up during that time. It was just, HHN in and of itself is very time consuming and energy consuming. Uh, and then layered on with everything else that I've been going through for the past two or three weeks is just a lot. Uh, but I should be posting more consistently now because the parade is a lot less, um, I don't want to say it's less time consuming. It's, the hours are better. Like I'll be out like during the day. So I'll have 
time like at night and stuff uh so it's just it's better timing uh and theoretically i'll have more days off because this is only a seasonal position uh and there are different shifts like there are eight hour shifts like yesterday i had an eight hour shift but today i only have a five hour shift uh which is why i have the time to film and edit and post a video for tomorrow today so uh I'll have different shift times that I'm working with, so I'll have more time to kind of figure out filming and editing and stuff like that. So, fingers crossed, I should be able to post much more frequently now. I should be able to get back on a schedule. Uh, and even if I can't, like, week of, I should, like, this week I work four days in a row. So I have today and tomorrow, and then I am off for the whole weekend. I don't work again until Monday, so I can film ahead um, for next week, which is good because I am now up to three Universal Yum boxes that I need to do. So I think as an apology slash thank you for sticking with me through this content desert, I'm just gonna do one really long video of me doing all three of those boxes in one video. Uh, so it'll be a little bit longer. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I know some people like longer videos, some people don't. Uh, but I'm hoping that this will just kind of be like a little bit of a video to make up for not being here for basically two months. So you'll definitely have that to look forward to uh, next week. And then after that, I don't know, I might go around the parks for the holidays, do some filming, stuff like that. Uh, I always do my Christmas special. Did I do a Christmas special last year? I think I did. Yes, I did. It was the year before that that I didn't. Uh, so, I should be having my Christmas special sometime in December. Uh, I usually try to do it before actual Christmas, so it should be sometime earlier in December. So that will be something to look forward to. Um, eventually, I should be doing some kind of, because I wanted to do like a wrap-up video of HHN, and I don't really have the time to do a full video like that uh, this week, and I don't want to do it next week because I want to do the Yum Boxes next week. Uh, so maybe the week after that, I will do my official, like, wrap-up slash HHN experience video, just kind of talking about, you know, how that was for me and uh, what it was like from a performer aspect. Uh, and then after that, it'll just be, like, strictly holiday stuff, I think, until the new year. So hopefully I can keep consistent from here on out. I have hated not making content and I've hated not being able to upload, but I'm not gonna lie, it has also been kind of nice to not worry about that for a little bit. Uh, but I'm excited to be back and I'm excited to make new content. Sorry I'm in my pajamas. Like I said, I worked eight hours yesterday and I work again tonight until close. So, I just try to be comfortable as much as possible, just like I was with HHN. But uh, yeah, that's why I've been gone so long. Uh, I'm really, really excited to be doing this. I'm hoping that uh, since I've now done HHN and holidays, that I'll just be able to stay in entertainment in some capacity, even if I just go from this to Mardi Gras and I'm not in any kind of like part-time or full-time position, although that is the goal, is to eventually get into part-time or full-time. But, uh, I mean, this this is my dream. This is what I've wanted. I've wanted to be in entertainment. Uh, I've wanted to be an entertainment escort. So, like, I am just... I am achieving my goals this year, my dudes. Also, yeah, I really briefly mentioned it. Uh, it was my birthday this past Saturday. Uh, and I'm 29 now, so that's like, I'm having a lot of emotions about it. And like, I know like 30 is not like an expiration date by any means, but I think I personally just wanted to have more accomplished by 30 than I feel like I have accomplished. So I, it's just coming to terms with that. But yeah, birthday was this past weekend. I got to spend it with friends. Uh from HHN and friends from Universal. So that was really nice. Uh, and I'm just kind of like 
chilling now. And I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for everything that's to come with the holiday season. I am going to be alone for the first time-ish uh, for Thanksgiving. I'll be working an eight-hour shift, so, like, I won't be alone. But, like, I've usually either had, like, food with roommates or I've gone over to friends for Thanksgiving. Uh, so this is going to be kind of weird for me to not, like, celebrate Thanksgiving with someone. But maybe it'll kind of be, like, a celebration at Universal anyways. So... I don't know. I guess we'll see. But uh, I'm going to wrap this video up for now because I do need to edit and get it cued to post uh, by the time I leave for work at 2 o'clock. And it's like noon right now. So thank you all so much for watching. If you have any ideas, any Christmas videos that you would like to see from me, leave those down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to be updated of when I post new videos, which hopefully will be more consistent now, go ahead and click that tiny little bell icon somewhere down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye!